1240. Hey, I'm 1240. Jeff Graham here on the hotline. I made a mistake earlier. I said uh, Mr. Biden was being interviewed for 60 minutes. It's actually CBS Sunday morning. OK, my apologies there. I was wrong. But believe it, Robert Costa is the correspondent. You know, this is something that gets me about these people like Biden. He's quoted saying President Biden says he's, quote, not confident at all. There will be a peaceful transfer of power in January if former President Trump is defeated. What is the basis for that? What is the basis for that? But you won't hear them fact check that on you. Say, well, the, the president made obviously untrue claims. That's how they would say it on CNN. But if it was Trump saying, well, how can Biden say that? Peace, no peaceful if Trump loses. Power transferred last time. Yeah. 12 noon on January 20th. The football got passed. In that case, Trump chose not to attend the inaugural, but that's his decision. And, um, but they just keep saying it, and I, you know, just keep saying it. Yeah. And they used comments from an interview that Trump did where he talked about trade policy and there'd be a trouble in the auto industry. He said a bloodbath in the auto industry. And they just said, well, he said there's going to be a bloodbath in general. It's like when he said, oh, I'm going to do be dictator on day one and do drill, baby, drill. They said, oh, he's going to be a dick. And the press goes along with it. They don't they don't do what Jim Acosta would do. And let's say the president again repeated unproven claims that the president's. No, they don't do that. So, um, yeah, don't bother watching CBS Morning on Channel 7. It's just going to be nonsense. Nonsense. Poor Taylor Swift fans over in Vienna. That's too bad. No concert. That's not right. That just isn't right. Well, um, you know, some of these polls, and you can pick your polls and some show battleground states, this and that, and some show ties and this, uh, you know. And I agree, uh, you got to look at the, the, the trends and everything, but there is one new poll from Marquette University that gives Kamala a five-point lead in a head-to-head. Now, there's other people in the race, whether it's Jill Stein or Kennedy or whoever, so those type of uh, polls are a little suspect in that regard. But let's face it, the numbers have definitely moved the other way. Definitely moved the other way. So Trump's got to do something because it's slipping away, I think. Yeah. And, man, are we going to have some high taxes. But the the good thing about having Kamala Harris in there is from sea to shining sea, uh, in all the boys' bathrooms in our local schools, there'll be uh, tampons free. Yeah. We'll get that. And everybody will be getting uh, all your kids in school. They can just go down to the nurse's office and sign up for a sex change. And who knows what else? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. All righty, 755-1240, the phone number, if you'd like to be on the air today. And we are on the air to talk about all sorts of things. What do you think about uh, Governor Walz's military record? I mean, so what if he was, you know, he had to retire as an E-8 instead of he claimed he was an E-9 or whatever. And everybody fudges their, their record a little bit, makes it sound a little better than it is. He did spend 24 years in the Guard. Again, Trump, he shouldn't be talking about that this afternoon. Let other people talk about it. To the extent of you, do you think most people... In, Maybe in the sound of my voice, a few more, but you think people know what the difference between E8 and E9 is? No. They don't know what a command sergeant major is or anything else. And he was not coach of that team, wasn't he, as an assistant coach, the football team? Yeah. I mean, there's all sorts of little things that, you know, and so what? Nobody's going to care. There's nothing that's going to be said in any news story or any debate it's going to change the mind of anyone listening to my voice right now. Nothing. There's no way. Look at the people listening. You know, whether it's the Duff or whether it's the angry guy on one side or whether it's Danny or SG on the other. There's no, nobody's mind is going to change as a result of anything said here, written anywhere else. 
any endorsements, any editorials, nothing. People are frozen in amber on this. Now, there probably are people who maybe are inclined to vote for Trump on policy, but they just continue to be uh, annoyed by his mannerisms and all of that. Maybe those people wouldn't vote at all. Maybe you can get them out. But I, I don't. I just see this thing. For, and the Democrats, they're not dumb. Keep her undercover. Just do the rallies. Read off the prompter. Let the media carry the water for you. It's so easy. It's so easy. They're doing a good job. Mm-hmm. Uh, like there's a, somebody on MSNBC said, watching Vice President Harris is mesmerizing. Not since... Chris Matthews had the tingle down his leg when Obama ran. Has there been this much infatuation by the media? Mike Barnacle, there's a guy, he's old, probably this is his last story. Hey, what about the astronauts?